Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video hello my fiery friends welcome to the channel and uh, in this video we're gonna check your week 28th of february up until the 6th of march 2022 i really hope you enjoy it and if you do please subscribe for the channel hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads uh, nor a live streams as well leave a like also to help with the youtube algo and uh yeah with that being said let's uh, me finish the shuffle and see uh what kind of a week you're gonna have i really hope that you're gonna have a good week here uh starting up with the four of cups uh, and i will give you a secret just by the look of this card this week is going to be just as good as you make it so uh, to me that is one of the best starting cards because it literally lives at uh, things within your hands uh followed by the tower 
Uh, moving next, we do have the Three of Wands. Ooh, we do have a Redeemer here. I mean, we do have a real savior of the situation. Uh, moving next, that, that is going to be the Queen of Cups. And uh, finally, what we have, uh, that will be... Uh, the eight of swords so uh there are a few aspects of this reading okay and the most interesting one is that you're gonna stumble upon a a gold mine but you ain't gonna know that that's really the case and the gold mine i mean uh, an aspect or an enterprise in your life that has a way much more value that you are going to assess at the start uh other than that um the start of the week especially for you is going to be very for the lack of a better word i'm going to say dynamic here okay which is going to be it, it will feel very chaotic now strictly individual though for some it's going to be one situation for others is going to be another situation but what is in common it is that you won't see anything coming your way and it just is going to hit you from the least place you are expecting which is a great thing and i will tell you why it is because say you do not expect to fall in love and you are very uh single but it's just that is the least thing on your mind right now because you do have a lot of uh, uh concerns about your job well it's exactly what happens i mean you are about to crash without you even knowing it seeking it without you you just can't fight it uh, that is how abnormal the situation it will feel at that point but enough chatting about the general overview let's dive into the spread itself so we do have the four of cups at the start and that is like i said a great card because it does show that at the start of the week you're going to have everything sorted out and you're going to enjoy the accomplishments of your work from the previous week or from the previous couple of months as well but also what is going to start happening here is that the satisfaction of your achievements and as well the uh the feeling of conquest is gonna be almost depleted it just you you have these things you can you can accomplish them every time so granted right and therefore you're gonna start thinking of at the start of the week for something different something new a different person to start hanging out with for example or a different kind of project at your work or maybe a hobby as well it's just here in the card we do have a person who is stuck with the things from the past which no longer gives him the satisfaction but what is offered to him it is a, a new enterprise right a new opportunity here from the cup and uh, that person needs to have the mental awareness just to turn his head around and that is exactly what you need to have um you're gonna have these um insights that you have to expand it's time to expand you just have to act upon these insights and once you do so uh the tower card hits in and like i said the tower card it is in an expansion in its own way right because it's a it's a crisis not necessarily a bad crisis though it is just it's a crisis because the circumstances under the tower they are unpredictable therefore i i don't have even the slightest guess what they can be right they are unpredictable and they make you address life in a way you never did before and that's why the tower card it is like a transformation you just find refine yourself into something new in the most grim way of interpreting this card as the tower sits as everything you have built it may rumble down right it may become it, it may be decimated by these circumstances which obviously is going to be very unpleasant uh but you get to rebuild and build it bigger a very grim example and i don't know how grim example that is going to be but imagine that way you do have a really good marriage right but suddenly throughout this week at the start of this week or the first half of the week you just insatiably crush on another person whether it's a guy or girl doesn't matter right and, and you just can't stop yourself uh, it's, it's it feels like more than just love right and that pretty much decimates your marriage no matter what you do it decimates your marriage right there so what what do you do well you do have a choice obviously right you can either build with a new person or you can try to rebuild your marriage either way 
the building that you're going to make, which is your estate, your domain, is going to be better than what you had before. So it's through unpleasant circumstances, but ultimately it leads to growth, nourishment and, and uh, nurturing of thy life, your life here. So prepare yourself, fasten your seat belts to have something very unexpected coming your way that is going to put you into a stressful situation, but at the end is going to give you the means and the circumstances to pretty much make your life better in the long run. And uh, it seems that with the three of wands, as it takes place afterwards, you're going to really take on the, uh, on the challenge here to pretty much sort everything around and you are going to be able to very very quickly with uh, the three of wands because or rather like manage that crisis very very quickly because with this card it first it means that you will be able to establish patterns very quickly and foundations you will know what you need to do in any given situation and therefore every expectation you have granted it, it, it pretty much is going to happen exactly the way you are calculating exactly the way you are expecting and as you have managed that crisis very quickly that will also allow you to have an incentive to make a challenge to challenge yourself to make a more even more progress so that here it's a blessing in disguise Right? It may decimate whatever you have built thus far, but it gives you through a challenge a way to build it tenfold. And uh, yeah, if a stressful experience is what you have to pay for it, well, I guess it's a good deal, or at least in my book. But right after you know you tackle with this crisis and you manage it, you establish your patterns, your foundations, you do take on the challenge here. Uh, afterwards, you do have a time to kind of like catch your breath. You pretty much have all knots set. And uh, with the queen of... Wow. All right. So with the queen of cups in the page of pentacles, we do have these two. Now, without a doubt, that's a person who deeply feels for you. I don't want to use the, the word love, but if that was a personal reading, that's definitely what I would have told you. Uh, whether it is a friendship love or a parental love, right? Or even an intimate love. That is definitely somebody you already know. I mean, you do have a very big history into one another. That person values you like there is no tomorrow, okay? Uh, it is just when they see you, they see everything. They, they just want one to have. So that is a also person who is a very proud in you. And on top of it, they understand what you are going through. Even if they haven't went through it themselves, they do understand uh, your plights. They do understand your worries. They do understand your concerns. And on top of that, these people, they are very discreet. So whatever you are to share with them as an experience, as a, as a secret, Rest assured, it stays with them. They're just not going to brag about it. So what is the purpose? Well, the purpose it's and I say, wow, because the purpose is a, uh, it could be a couple of things. Now, one of, uh, one of the things of this person, it is to stabilize you emotionally. You went through a crisis, right? And kind of like you are emotionally unstable at that point already have that. Oh, oh um, not already, but, um, oh my God, that worked through threw itself away from my mind, you still have that hectic wavering inside you and this individual is going to help you help you stabilize emotionally by talking with you, right? Like by caressing you or by uh, allowing you to, uh, to lean on their shoulder. Uh, in any case, the other way how this could develop here, it is a long term friendship develops into a very deep love. In fact, that deep love was already there. It's just you both couldn't see it by that point and this crisis made you realize yep that that's the one i want to be with right it, th this is the one and uh, the week for you here ends guys with the eight of swords and that is uh, the thanksgiving so to speak of uh, of the spread because leo at that point you will realize that at the start of the week you had your troublesome times right but they allowed you to grow far more than uh, than you were at that point and here uh, with the Eight of Swords is when um, 
you cannot deny the 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 truth anymore the truth the the truth that should you want to kind of like uh get different results you just have to do different stuff it, it, it's simple as that and through that truth you are to bring down self-imposed limitations a big time so you will allow yourself to go for more to to grow bigger to get better uh on a more private case or rather like more specific case at the end of the week with the eight of swords you can expect to be a bit misunderstood people who simply not going to be able to fathom your actions to fathom as well your your intentions but that should not be of your concern here that will normalize it is just uh i don't know how to explain it really but it's just people would not have any idea what you went through aside from that king, uh, queen of cups and uh one can judge only by their own experiences but they don't have yours so that being said Leo, that was your weekly general reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like the guys and we are to see each other next time until then bye